Gilas Pelepanas vs. Cleveland Cavaliers, who will win this game. Hi everyone, greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. It'll be the visiting team facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now the starting group for the visitors. Green is out there with Clarkson. Then there's A-Train. Then there's B. Pass to Green. Lock at six. Puts it up. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Cleveland. With the floater, he lays it in. It's so tricky there with the floater. Mitchell, aware of when he should try his luck, shooting that shot. He can't get that one to fall. Excellent D there from Allen. To the paint, here's Mobley. Doesn't get it to drop for him. A-train, the pass to Green. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. It's the three-point bomb. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Mitchell passes to Struess. The shot misses. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I had a chance to talk with the head coach for the visiting team. One of their big challenges tonight is to try and keep Donovan Mitchell's high-wire act on the ground. Coach said if he gets a step at the rim, he's going to throw it down on us. We need to take away space whenever he tests the perimeter. It's going to take a team effort to slow Donovan down tonight. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. Here's Clarkson. Jared Allen making his last shot. Over Mitchell. The shot by Clarkson, no good. Inside, it's tipped. Allen kicks to Garland. Allen passes to Mitchell. Back to Allen. Shot clock at six from 11 feet away. And here's the fast break. Clarkson leading the way. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And it's Cruz with the rebound. The Cavaliers trailing. The pass to Mitchell. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight. Try to avoid the and one. And this time, they're not backing off. It's good. Uncovered at the rim. Finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now, here's Mitchell. Allen finds Garland. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, big time putback there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. And there's the drive. An easy two points on the layup. Six points for him. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. And how about the awareness of Mitchell? That, that's what stands out to me. He, he has a decision to make and does it with terrific timing. Here's B. And it's Drews with the rebound. And here's Cleveland. They trail by one. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Passes it to B. A three ball. That shot off the mark. And Cleveland the other way now. 
Cruz passes to Mobley. Count it. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Mobley's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. Green kicks to Clarkson. Nothing that time. He's uh, 0 for 2. Here's Mitchell. That one's a miss. His third shot of the game. He's made one of them. B the pass to A train. And he floats number in for the easy two. Credit yes, the assist on that one. Number and, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Now Mitchell shoots over Clarkson and staying with the play, Allen. Allen's got his second bucket of the game to go. And that's what happens when you get after it on the glass. Allen grinding it out and creating that second chance opportunity for himself. A finish. It's blocked. From deep green. They get the rebound. Cleveland leading by three. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. Mitchell wide open. Drops in the tray off the fast break. Mitchell's got five points so far. Clarkson up top. Covered by Mitchell. Shots good by Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson tries to be aggressive for most of the game. And when he's looking to score from the mid-range, if he knocks a couple down, he can be dangerous. Now, here's Garland. And he locks it up toward the rim. And Mobley throws it down. Oh, phenomenal alley and slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Has to be. the teardrop and it's Cruz with the rebound yeah, one player sometimes can drag down your offense and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter and he drops in the way up off the glass and now it's an eight point Cavalier lead they're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency five buckets in a row from the paint here's Clarkson sweet little floater Jordan, such a such a tough shot to master there. Clarkson feeling more and more comfortable, it looks like, with that floater. Allen outside. Wound up there for Allen. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Allen's gotten all three of his shots to fall for him. 3-4-3. Three, three. And there's the pass to beat. Here's the lob to the hoop. It's hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Allen, that's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Eight points for Allen. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Two minutes. Back to Clarkson. Two minutes. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. Now that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Here's Struess. He feeds it to Allen. And slam dunk by Allen. At 6'11", Allen a legitimate threat to finish through the rim. Especially when given that kind of position. Now here's Green. Eight point game. On the wing, Green. Six to shoot. Nailed Jay from Green. three point land. For three. He wanted to shoot that ball, but you see your teammate wide open. Be a good teammate. Make the delivery. Green against Mitchell. Here's Garland. Some solid defense from Clarkson. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Fires from deep. The Cavaliers pull it in. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Garland with the bucket. They are attacking the rim 
and getting great results. Garland's gone two of four from the field. Green the pass to be. Takes it inside. Boom, he jams it straight down. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Mitchell passes to Struess. Seventeen seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Back to Mitchell. Jacks up a three. Rebound collected by Clarkson. Jared Allen has been on display for the Cavaliers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We've got more in store for you right after this. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, what's your take? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. The Cavaliers leading by five. They've got Garland. He's out there with Donovan Mitchell. Okoro out there with Thompson. And it's Niang in a power forward position. It's the group for Cleveland going right now here in the second. Now the defense looked a little bit confused on that play as Garland moved nicely. Garland's gone three for five from the field. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Donovan Mitchell is a force offensively, of course, but he knows there's room for work at the other end. He said, I feel the Number need to really four. get after it defensively and show two. that. Number Watch film on two. every person I'm guarding. Defense travels. Offense comes and goes. Guys, back to you. He's never satisfied, and I love that about him, D.A. Thanks. Now, here's Okoro following the shot by Tristan Thompson. Six on the shot clock. Here's Niang. Misses the three. Clarkson outside. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mitchell outside. Outside Garland. Back to Mitchell. Garland against Thompson. Garland the pass to Thompson. Good work there as it goes. Thompson's got his first two points. Sometimes it looks like for Garland the game comes a bit easy, whether making plays for himself or others. Passes it to B. Stolen by Thompson. He kicks it to Mitchell. Shoots over Clarkson. Not enough on that one as it misses. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. B, he's covered by Thompson. Shot is good, and the Cavaliers lead cut down to just four points with the buckets from Clarkson. Like to see more of that from Clarkson, just get more consistent from the three-point line. Steps up and knocks that one down. Niang kicks to Garland, driving inside. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. This looks like he's got more feel tonight, like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Pass to A-Train, over to the left wing. Here's B, drops it in from 14 feet away. B's got seven. That's pretty unselfish there. He sees that there's a better shot on the perimeter, and bang, just kicks it out. The wide open look here for Garland. Trains the three-pointer. And the Cavaliers lead by seven. Well, good to see Garland score the ball without dominating it. Thompson passes to B. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. B's got four points in the quarter. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. 
Here's Thompson, and he uses the glass on the layup. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Thompson's gone two or three from the field. B, he's covered by Thompson. Clarkson trying to break free. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Ball stolen. And here we go. Thompson heading to the hoop. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. Mitchell in the corner. And another three for Cleveland. And you pass it to him. Spider Mitchell is always ready to let it fly. An impact player the moment he stepped into the lead. Now here's Thompson. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That is his first foul of the game. Karis LeVert checked in for Donovan Mitchell. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Clarkson looking for an opening. B. Lavert defending. Shot clock at six. Wild pass to Clarkson. He's got a clear path. All alone. Hammers it home to polish off the break. And you see the open floor speed of Levert, a great athlete who just needs to stay healthy to reach his potential. Thompson the bounce pass, and they call an illegal screen here. And that's a couple of very shaky possessions in a row. One turnover right after the other. Howard against Thompson. Howard with the steal. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. Clarkson for three. That's good. He's five for nine. That's the second long-range bomb in the quarter after a slow first period. He is on a roll. Here's LaVert. Howard down after the assist. Let him into the lane. Oh, why dunk you very much. He, he can really fly. And you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too. And you've got two points. And with that shot, the Cleveland lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from B. To the inside, Thompson. And Thompson throws it down. Just to Thompson with some force on that one. It's our top of the key. And the best to B. The shot connects. The jumper drops. 16 points for B. Well, he made some kind of adjustment to his game after a poor first half. He's been impressive shooting the ball during the second. Now, here's Garland. 11 points in the game. Here's Thompson, and it's denied. Here's A-Train. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. The Cavaliers leading by four. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Institution for the away team. On defense, the visitors. Levert the pass to Garland. Here's Niang. Pass to Allen. Just five on the clock. Let's it go with a three. And it's Drews missing. To the middle. No good from Howard. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Struce's shot is good. Textbook feed from Allen. A big man who helps facilitate the offense. Has to be. Here's A-Train. A shot. No good. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Wound up there for Allen. Throws down the alley oop slam. When you have an elite wingspan like Jared Allen, you make those alley oops look easy.
Here's B. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Pass to Struess. And yes, it's good. Struess has got five points now in the quarter. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Stolen by Garland. Pushing it up. Here's Niang. Max Struess. Struess has gone five of seven from the floor here. Now the pass to be. Second shot opportunity. He takes it up and lays it in. B's got 20. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. The Cavaliers leading by nine. There's Garland. The putback. It's good on the putback. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Passes to B. That one a tad off line to the right, but drops in for him. 22 points for him. Seemed to be laying in the weeds there in the first quarter, but now we're seeing him come out, put all the cards on the table, and ramp it up. A slam dunk by Garland. That's pretty crazy. Garland at his size getting way up. Puts it up from 12. LeVert grabs the miss. Yeah, and he had the D tangled up there with that patented crossover. Just couldn't convert yeah. the finish. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Shot and game clock separated by five. Has to be. And here's Clarkson. Buries the long-range jumper. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Levert against Clarkson. A floater. And it's Levert missing. And so it's Cleveland. Going into the break with a 10-point lead. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. They really poured it on in the second quarter, building the lead to 10 points. What do you think, Shaq, about Cleveland? They're playing with speed, pushing the ball off turnovers and long rebounds, running every chance they get. Because we all know, scoring on the break is so difficult. We'll finally go through shots in the half court. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? Well, the best way that they can get back into this game is to show up their rebound. They need to prevent second chance points and fight. I mean, fight to get their own. If they could do that, this game's still within it. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You know, B has been exceptional here, guys. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. B out there with a train. Then it's green. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. Here's Mitchell. No good from 18. Mitchell's gone three of nine tonight from the field, 33%. A shot by Clarkson, no good. The Cavaliers leading by 10. 
Here's Allen. Garland. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. The pass to A train. Here's B. And he goes in for the dunk. You know, he almost pulled the trigger on that possession, but recognized that there was a better option. That's what we mean by playing for your teammates. Garland, the pass to Allen. Loads it up for Garland. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Here's B. Goes back up, and he lays it up and in. 12 points for him. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Cleveland. Here's the three. And another three for Cleveland. And when he's hitting from deep, Mitchell's practically unguardable. Can't crowd him out there. He, he'll just drive right around. Throws it up high. Well placed alley -oop pass into the layup. Oh, just a picture perfect alley -oop. You, you gotta love that. A little surprised, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. Here's Struce. He's got 11. Down low. Here's Mobley. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Mobley. Mobley's got the lead up to 13 now for Cleveland. Green against Garland. Green with the ball. Here's B. Offensive rebound. That one Number drops four. for him. A-Train's got eight points. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. There's Garland. He's off on that one. Great D that time from Green. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a point from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. After making the finals four straight years from 2015 to 2018, there have been some lean years lately for the Cavaliers. Over the last three seasons, they've only won a couple more games than they did in a Out single season, the title season of 2016. Coach J.B. Bickerstaff says the losing is tough on everybody, but I look forward to the journey ahead. Kevin, back to you. The Cavaliers leading by nine. Harlan finds Mitchell. The Cavaliers again can't hit. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Here's Green, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. It's his first trip to the line. At the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Thompson's checked in. And both free throws good for Green. A great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now, here's Mitchell. 11 points in the game. And that one, good. And it's 13 points for Donovan Mitchell. And there's an edge to Mitchell's game. He wants to be the guy in charge. And if that means he's got to get physical, he'll do it. Thompson comes with the double team. Rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. To the paint. It's deflected. And some very quick points for him on that possession. And now it's an 11-point Cleveland lead. And here we go. Thompson heading to the hoop. And Thompson throws it down. Well, the big man Thompson intent on getting out in transition that time. Shoots it. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. 18 points for him. And out of bounds. The Cavaliers will take it. Cavaliers ball. Okoro, he's checked in for Cleveland. Cavaliers. Isaac Okoro. 
Here's Garland. He's got 19. Got a piece of it. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Here's Garland. Mitchell looking it over. To the inside. Thompson. And Thompson throws it down. And, and ball handlers like Mitchell really elevate your offense. It's his precision passing to pass the basketball at the right time. Really a terrific ability. It does so much out there to stretch out the defense when he's out on the perimeter and he drains the triple. And he drives in. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, time out, time so I'll out. repeat it. You have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Goes up the baseline. Got a hand on it. On the wing, Green, guarded by Garland. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. In that tight, with that much of an advantage height-wise, there's just not a lot the defense can do. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. I thought we might see the defense adjust at halftime to slow the break, but that has not been the case. Now the team has also done a really good job of grinding it out on the offensive glass. Those second chance points have added up for them over the course of the game. Now, here's Mitchell. 15 points in the game. And that one drops. One of the more powerful young guards in our game. Mitchell loves to attack the heart of the defense. Stolen by Thompson. Garland, no good. Now, here's Green. Tight defense on him. It counts. And the foul. It goes on Isaac Okoro. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. Yeah, possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight. Taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ball game. Karis LeVert's checked in for Cleveland. A solid passer at his position. LeVert excels at finding his teammates when they're open. He's covered by Thompson to the middle. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. And so, Levert will bring it up for the Cavaliers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Levert's got seven points. From range, Levert's one of those guys you have to respect his shot. He, he makes enough from beyond where you have to honor him. Yep, that one goes in there. Playing from behind right here. Not easy, but he is answering the bell. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. Kicks it out to Mitchell. 18 feet out. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more. And he looks like he's going to get it. And here's Green outside. Trains it from Go beyond the arc. Green's got 10 points in just the second half. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. At least in the second half they have been. The first half wasn't played anywhere near this intense. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. It's tipped, and the Cavaliers with possession here. Mitchell passes to Mobley. Yep, that one goes. He's got 12. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example, knowing where each other is at all times. Passes it to Ramos. Connects from three-point range. And I don't care how far from the bucket he is. You've got to have a man on him. He's just too good from deep. Now, here's Levert. 
He's got seven. Softly drops in the floater. And the Cavaliers lead by six. And just so good at reading angles. When Levert spots a lane to the rim, he is all over. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. Here's Mitchell. He's got 19. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Tipped away. Pass to Aguilar. And a Coro over to help. And he's good on the three ball. And it's now only a one-point Cavalier lead. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. And Cleveland with another turnover here. To the away team. Jared Allen's Second checked in for Tristan for Thompson. Team. 119 left to play in the third. Mitchell against Green, and they take the lead. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. the free throw no good and the rebound battle split evenly thus far pass to Mobley oh Laverne in position up high to stop the alley -oop. and how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop? he absolutely hammered it down Laverne's gone a nice five of six shooting from the field the pass to Ramos Going inside. He can't hit that time. Great D that time from Levert. Now, here's Okoro. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And it's Mitchell missing. Ramos. Levert defending. They get it back. And he lays it straight in. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Here's Mitchell. He gets that one. Mitchell's got 21 in the game. And the coaching staff loves this. Mitchell being assertive on offense and just imposing his will. B. A second chance effort. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme. Oh, and he beat it. Did they just do that, Kevin? They just did it. Yeah. Wow, what a way to finish up the quarter. That's an incredible shot there. Just let it fly, take a chance, and somehow that one goes in. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game. With three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. The visitors with the ball. A two-point game. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. So on the floor for Cleveland. Mobley and Allen, the two big men inside. Revert out there with Mitch. And it's Cruz in at the three. And understanding where to run to in transition. Mitchell is very opportunistic when the break is on. Driving the lane, and it's blocked. And that one ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Substitution for the away team. Jordan Clarkson.
No good off the back of the rim. The Cavaliers leading by four. Three-pointer, Levert, and another three for Cleveland. And continuing to impress and, and taking on more responsibility. Levert understanding when he should look to score. Back to Green. This is it to be. Shot clock at five. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Yeah, the defense there in chill mode. We all know he can burn them from three-point range. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. To stop the run. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got his seventh rebound here tonight. It's Levert on the wing. And the shot goes in. And what a turnaround from the first half. I mean, he's been incredible here in the second half. Donovan Mitchell really making a difference here. Not sure what the defense is thinking. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, during the break, I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. He got on him. He said he's got to see more intensity. He said we put ourselves in this hole, and we've got to work our way out of it. Show me you've got what it takes. Guys. From the arc. And another three for Cleveland. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break. And that's his first three of this half. And out of bounds. The Cavaliers will take it. I know people can't see you, but you're doing what I'm doing. Scratching your head to that turn. Up. And the Cavaliers with possession. They're on a 12-3 run. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Stolen. Inside. And it's Green with the jam. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break. Right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Stolen by Clarkson. Here's B. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Yeah, Clarkson with a really good job moving the puppies, getting the feet in the right position, and then clawing that ball away. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Pass to Levert. He lobs it up. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Green against Garland. Good on that shot, and with that, the Cavalier lead is cut down to just six points with the basket from Green. Lavert the pass to Allen. Back to Lavert. There's the killer two-handed slam. And Lavert is playing with such passion on offense. He's just not afraid to play a big role on that end. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. And, and won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Swiped away. Pull up Jay. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Now, just a four point Cavalier lead. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. How about these big shots for him in the fourth? He has been locked and loaded offensively. Avert against Clarkson. Out left of the wing. Down low. Outside, green. Lock at six. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just ten shots. Oh, boy, the touch is coming back here in the second half. Percentages from the field much better than it was at the break. 
Wasted no time on that one. Bruce has got eight points here in this quarter. Well, he just nailed his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were the defense right now. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And now that's 35 points for B. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Takes the three. Garland, no good. Cleveland foul. Max Struess. Mitchell is checked in for Cleveland. Second team foul. Checking in for the away team. And here's Green outside. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Allen with it. And it's Clarkson picking him up. And here we go. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And you talk about clutch plays. I mean, defensively and offensively. And we saw it right there. Knocked away. It's stolen by Green. They start that play with aggressive defense, finish with aggressive offense. Well, a lot of times coaches will tell you that if you play great defense, you're going to get a reward. It's a good possession. These are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Cavaliers leading. And here is Garland. For three, Mitchell bangs home the trifecta. Mitchell's got 29. And guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. To the middle. Count it and the foul. Jared it's on Jared Allen. Third, and there's a pattern foul. starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. The line for the away team. Number 11, shooting one. They're holding on to the slimmest of leads. Yeah, and you can't afford to let that thing get any slimmer. Mitchell outside. Shoots. Not this time. Dishes to Green. There's the pass to B. To the inside. A-Train at basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. Guys, what a game. Eight lead changes here. And don't be surprised if it comes down to the last possession. Pass to Struth. Cleveland moving the ball around. To the paint. Here is Mobley. Count that as his seven field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. Now that's an excellent play call to free him up from the defense. Well, taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that one. To the inside, it's stolen by Allen. Mitchell against Clarkson. The 11-footer, and Cleveland again with the bucket. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Green taking his time here. The teardrop falls in. Green's got eight points here in this quarter. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Here's Mitchell. Rebound collected by Clarkson.
and the shot goes down. Timeout, timeout. 37 points for him. Timeout. A, a combo guard who can do a lot of things decently well. Jordan Clarkson, solid at dishing that rock. Timeout call. Ten. The Cavaliers trailing. Here's Drews. Mitchell outside. The feet to Mobley. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. 16 points for Evan Mobley. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry. Inside, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Clarkson passes to A train. Down low. Scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. 122 left here in the fourth quarter. B the pass to A train. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Stolen by Thompson. Here's Mitchell. That's tipped. And they're pushing it up. He's covered by Thompson. A shot missing. To the middle. Kicks it out to Mitchell. From past the arc. No good that time. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possessions. That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. Feeds to Mobley. Trying to get open is Thompson. Another shot. It drops. And that shot brings them to within just one. And a better box out saves them two points there. Yeah, it didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting for the away team. Jordan Clarkson, two shots. He drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. Uh, Clarkson, is, it's interesting for him. He's not really a point guard and not really a shooting guard, so trying to find ways to stay in the game and stay aggressive and do whatever is asked of him to earn minutes. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. That last one was a difference maker. It pushed it from a two-point lead to three. Timeout called Cleveland. Now Mitchell. Three-pointer. Good! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Ball's not loose. A train the pass to be. To the paint. Got it! This is a gravity game right now. Whatever he throws up must come down. He's having a great game. Big time play there from Mitchell. Remember, he's been the go-to guy since his rookie year. Jordan Clarkson. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Cavaliers. Jonathan Mitchell. One shot. We 
knocks down the clutch free throw. And how fearless is Donovan Mitchell? I mean, as a rookie in his first playoff series, he went off for 38 in a closeout. Here's B. Oh, and he got it! Did that beat the buzzer, Kevin? Yes! Wow. Yes! Down it goes at the buzzer. Boy, it doesn't get any better than that. Man, I'm just blown away. Absolutely as clutch as you can get. People are going to be talking about that shot for a long time. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.